Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. So today is a little bit, well, today's gonna be a bit crazy, I think. Certainly the middle part of the day. This morning, well let me, talk, let, let me start by saying this. This morning we have a builder in the house and he's just doing some odd jobs around the house that me and Laura have A, not got the time to do and B, not got the skills or experience to do. So we have a builder that's called Will and he's, he's just a brilliant, he's just a brilliant builder and he's, he's putting the final touches on the place which is really nice. And, and B, today I've woken up with I think a trapped nerve or something in my back and I'm, I'm, I'm really in a lot of pain. And normally it would probably be in enough pain for me to probably call in sick if I had a normal job. But because I'm self-employed, it's just not an option. You just don't call in sick. You, you, uh, unless you're dead, you go to work, is the grim reality of being self-employed. So I feel that I'm a bit dosed up, put it that way, the ibuprofen and things. And thirdly, I've got um, some work today. So at nine o'clock this morning, I didn't think I had a job or I didn't think I was working. And then, like buses, two came along at once. Oh yeah, I forgot to say one final thing. Tonight as well, I'm photographing some theater because Laura's opening night of her show, Wuthering Heights, is opening tonight in Stratford-upon-Avon. So I'm gonna be doing some production stills for them during this afternoon before their run. So, a jam-packed day. So I'm just setting up the gear and I bought both cameras, but I won't need the 6D for this job because my 7D, basically I have it set up. So I have like a, on the creative mode that I can just do a HDR shot. So I have that already set up. And when I flip to manual, it's my property camera. So my settings are very much the same anyway, which are normally something like ISO 100, 100th of a second and F8 aperture, something like that. And then all I need to do then is just play around with my flash and maybe the aperture. And, uh, you know, sometimes the shutter speed, but then that's always a trial and error thing I find. So that's the way I do it. So 7D, just got to get the wide angle lens on. Just on the floor plan, nice and easy place. Two up, two down, nice and simple. So yeah, we're looking good. So I've been told not to let the cat into the lounge or into the master bedroom. And here is said cheeky cat. <laughs> Hello. It's Ginger Cat on the vlog, everybody. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. Right, you stay down here, Ginger Cat, and we'll swap when I need to the kitchen, all right? Got it. So just walking up here, and this staircase is the steepest staircase ever. So each stair is only about 20, if that, 15 centimetres long. So anyway, here's the house. Quite a nice little bedroom too. I love these rustic doors. Really, really popular at the moment. And the bathroom's really nice. So for a small little house like this, it's really quite nice. So I think what I'm gonna start doing with my property stuff is only using flash on bedrooms and everything but the bathroom. On the bathroom, because there's so many shiny surfaces here, I'm just gonna go au naturel in here. So I'm just gonna stop the aperture down to about 2.8 and focus to infinity. And that should do the job. So yeah, we'll do the bathroom last and we'll do the bedrooms first. Pop those lights on. Oh God, that didn't sound good. So a minute ago when I was in this bathroom, the sun was in, I think. But now the sun's out, we've got this quite big sunspot here. And if I increase the shutter speed, then we'll single out that pool of light a little bit better. But if I increase the shutter speed, then the whole room becomes brighter, but that completely blows out the window and the floor. So it's quite a tricky one. Do I HDR this? Hmm, I think I might have to. Just about to do my external shots and it is raining cats and dogs. Isn't it, Kitty? Isn't it? Yeah, Kitty thinks it is. So me and Kitty are just chilling out in, in this kitchen until it stops raining because I can't do anything. I can't take a decent photograph. Do you want to come and meet the Kitty again? 
Hello. Hello, who's that? <laughs> You're not shy, are you? No. Right, I've been waiting here now for about 10 minutes and the weather is still drizzling, so, so I'm just gonna have to shoot this external with a fairly slow shutter speed. Because if it's really fast, I'll be able to see the, the droplets of rain. So I'm gonna have to put a blue sky in there anyway, so that doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm just gonna go out there now and see what I can do. So miserable. Oh, Kitty, it is wet out there, isn't it? All right, so just arrived at my second one, and, oh dear, the camera just fell over, it's fine. I'm gonna learn my lesson from that last one, and I'm gonna do this front shot first. And I don't have to do a floor plan of this one, so I can be nice and quick, I hope. So yeah, the idea is front shot first, and then internals, then, and also before that, I've gotta try and work out which key it is to get in. So, crack on, let's. Because I've already been to this one, I just want a fresh set of photos. Yeah, here it is. Had a lovely spring blossom on it last time. So I'm gonna get inside, put my gear in there, get it safe, come outside, move the wheelie bins, and then do a front shot. Wow, this looks different from last time I came. It's completely empty. And here's a little common sense tip for free. When you are doing property photography, always, always keep the bunch of keys that the agent has given you on your person at all times. Stick them in your pocket so when you accidentally lock yourself out, you are not without your camera and all your gear and you can get back in. I've never been in that situation myself, but I've been close a couple of times. So the agent has specifically instructed me to take the property head on, so it's like this so I don't show the side of the wall. Because on the other side, we can see that the wall is actually, I don't know if it's damp or it's just quite dirty, but we've got a nice sort of shadow from the tree that's coming in. And that's a little bit reminiscent of my picture from Bruges, if any of you remember that. So uh, anyway, would have been a nice photograph, but not applicable. So this is the angle that I'm gonna shoot at. It's one of these classic, um, walk in front door right by the lounge and yeah so i'm going to make sure that we get these nice features in it's actually a lovely staircase so i'm going to start from over here and then i'm going to do the opposite and i'm going to work my way upstairs starting in here then the kitchen then i'm going to go upstairs so where am i now i am heading to stratford up on avon and by the way the clouds today so if any of you are out photographing today in the midlands september the 13th Right, I didn't, you're not indicating! So if any of you are out photographing around the Midlands today, September the 13th, what a day! I mean, the clouds look so crazy. The weather, as you've seen today, is a little bit Jekyll and Hyde. So, that probably makes for some great photography conditions. So fair play if any of you are out today. So I'm on the way now to the theatre, and I am going to take some photographs, some production photographs, for Tread the Boards Theatre Company. And you're going to see our kid! Because our kid is making her fabulous, glorious return to the stage. And funny enough, that's how me and Laura met, for any of you that are interested in that. She was in a play and I was called to photograph a rehearsal. And uh, just happened from there. So it's going to be nice to see Laura on stage again. Welcome to Warwickshire. I want to drive one of them. Get out of the road, tourists! Is that a sign of getting older? You walk about three minutes from the car and that whole time you're trying to wonder whether you actually shut the door or not, whether you have to lock the car. And then you get back there and you realize that yes, you did lock it. When I get inside and shoot, I'm just gonna use my 85 mil 1.4 to shoot today. I'm just gonna have one lens and one focal length 
and I'm probably just going to use it at 1.4 just to try and really get used to trying to capture to capture moments at 1.4 could be the name of my latest book couldn't it capturing moments at 1.4 by Andrew Maguire just trying to think who I'd have to narrate my audio book probably me so what you got to do then you got to you got to set your aperture at 1.4 and then you've just got to crack on and then I'll just just tell your friends and you'll be fine and you've just got to have a general high-pitched nasally kind of vaguely brummy sounding accent and you'll sound a bit like me Yes, you may kiss me and cry and wring out your kisses and your tears, they'll blight you, they'll damn you. You love me. And what right had you to leave me?